Hello everyone, my name is uh, Ed Salabao and uh, today I just want to give you a quick overview of the new Blade 180QX. Um, I basically got this out of the box. Um, it's fully assembled, it's a, a bind and fly model, uh, the one that I picked up. Um, the only thing you would have to attach is um, the landing gear and this uh, velcro strap. So the landing gear um, just goes in with, you know, just attaches with these four screws right here. Vel Velcro strap goes in between it, there's a little channel in there. And this is what holds the camera. But, um, so, everything's assembled out of the box, um, ready to go. What, uh, if you wanted to install the, uh, the camera, attach the camera, what you would need to do is open it up. And on the center uh, part of the board, there is this connector. The provided uh, servo wire or servo lead you would plug in here and there's a negative marker. Uh, the negative in this case is uh, on the back of the board towards the back of the quadrocopter. So um, plug this here you know, with the dark brown. I did it dark brown as my negative and we can put the canopy back on. Okay, and so the camera, which by the way, Blade has released a, a great video uh, showing how to use it. Uh, fairly straightforward, just has a Velcro strip. Um, this thing just attaches to the bottom, like so. Velcro strip facing out, like so it goes like this. And uh, the little lens is adjustable, actually leans down, up, you know. So that servo lead that we just attached, um, this will basically plug in to the back of the camera. Uh, negative side is the side where the memory uh, card slot is, you know, so just secure it. So negative side, side of the memory card. And that's it. Um, like I mentioned, watch the video how you turn on uh, and turn off and put it on video mode. Um, Blade released a great video. Uh, it's on their YouTube page or uh, their Facebook page okay so the next thing I would want to suggest oh before that uh, I forgot the batteries um, when you mount this pretty straightforward there's a slot right underneath the board um, if I could see it okay there you go and that's it and then if you plug it in it'll you know uh, arm the model Okay, so what I want to discuss now is uh, the three flight modes. Um, the manual uh, goes through the setup for each individual radio, uh, spectrum radio. Um, uh, basically uses channel 1 to 4 uh, for the controls. You don't do anything that with the radio. Channel 5, which is the gear channel. Um, for this radio, the manual has it that you reassign channel 5 to switch B which gives you three positions on the DX-18 and gives you the three flight modes. Uh, the AUX-1 channel, or uh, sixth channel, the sixth channel, um, I programmed on the radio to be in this button, and this enables, um, the, if you're on video mode, you press it, it takes, starts taking videos, you press it, it stops, so on and so forth, you can use it to take pictures um, for this uh, button, all right? so. Um, the flight modes, as I mentioned earlier, uh, flight mode one, uh, which is, uh, this is let's, let's call it stability mode. Uh, I forgot what it's called on the manual, but it's a stability mode where um, it only allows a very little bit of tilt uh, on the model. And uh, everything, um, how the model behaves, it's very locked on very precise easy to fly but the model it was is very locked and um, smooth in any of your movements so even if you kind of jam the sticks the model just tr does its absolute best to fly nice and smooth um, which is perfect for taking videos with the onboard camera so you can really fly super smooth with flight mode one and 
you really can't get in trouble because I think the most that it tilts is you know like so you know a couple of degrees and then flight mode 2 is still the same um, uh, self leveling um, you know both flight mode has I would say almost pyro compensation the model of pyro is absolutely flat um, flight mode 2 is the same except that when you push on the sticks it tilts more at about a 45 degree angle giving it uh, making it more agile um, with that mode you can get really fast and uh, crazy uh, really hard to shoot video um, on that mode because the model is extremely fast you really want to be moving slow when you're taking video um, <clears throat> so the third flight mode um, is all out uh, no self leveling um, the model has no um, um, boundaries uh, it'll let you flip roll uh, and then my favorite the diagonal roll which is across like this so for flight mode 3 um, what I did so for the three flight modes this is what I did with my radio um, I put the travel adjust for elevator and aileron to the max of the radio which is in this case 150 so the model is extremely fast um, but for flight mode 1, I did dual rates 80, so to cut down on that uh, uh, movement, make it, you know, flight mode 1 is my video uh, flight mode, so uh, dual rate 80 and expo, in this case I put 20. So that still maintains the nice smooth flying of the model for the video taking. Flight mode 2, <clears throat> I have a dual rate of 90, um, also 20 on expo model gets faster still very easy to fly but on flight mode 3 this is where I have no dual rates I do have 30 expo but <clears throat> this is where the model gets really fun I mean literally the model um, flips and I would say um, I'm guessing you lose two feet um, of altitude when you flip roll and some and the diagonal rolls are so much fun. I actually have a um, video which I will show you uh, later that um, doing all these flips and rolls and actually doing double uh, diagonal flips before catching it. Um, you can um, I guess my, what I want is flip so people that wanted to start flipping you can just literally just be flying forward and just jam the stick with that setting and it'll uh, take two about two feet and actually do a you know backwards flip and just let go at the right time it's so easy <clears throat> once you start incorporating um, throttle a little bit of off and then you know cyclic then it because the, the loop or the flip and roll becomes even smaller and it does it takes less uh, altitude to perform the move so um, that's kinda it very simple um, it flies great uh, next thing I would show is um, I will go out, uh, take it for a spin, and show you some of the tricks I've done with uh, the 180QX in uh, flight mode 3, which is the stunt mode. So this is flight mode 3 and on this mode you can get kind of crazy. <laughs> 